Hello! I missed you. I hope you can see me. Hold on. Please hold. Okay. I think that's better. I hope that's better. Hi! Today is... June 2nd? And I haven't done a video in a really long time. Like, wowzers. It's been like a month, and um, so I know it's been a month. I'm gonna explain why. Yeah. For those of you who aren't interested in listening to my bullshit, um, basically I'm fine, and um, that's it. My weight, if you want a weight update, I'm 143. Um, and uh, yeah. So that's it. Love you. And if you're on the way out the door, then peace. Um, mwah, bye. Um, if you want to stick around, this video is going to be about um, weight loss surgery and mental health. We need to discuss. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, we need to discuss mental health and weight loss surgery. So, because that's why I haven't been around. It's been mental health. Um, my anxiety, every single May for the last three years, including this year, for some reason May, wakes up my mental health and makes it go haywire. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't make sense why May would do it. Um, but May came along and my anxiety went apeshit. Um, I had a small bout of depression, and um, I'm still going through it. Um, I'm still dealing with anxiety, um, pretty bad. I am still dealing with a minor bout of depression, minor. Um, you know, it's totally nothing. Like, if it wasn't rainy, yucky out today, I'm sure I wouldn't feel any depression. I'd probably be happy. And I'd only be dealing with my anxiety today. Um, but my point is that when you have weight loss surgery, does nothing but change your body. It does not change your mind. Mm, 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 mm. Um, you know, I've had anxiety since I was a kid, and, um, and I've gone through some hard bouts of depression. Like, whew, hard bouts of depression. And, um, and I blamed it all on my, my obesity, because I was super, super morbidly obese, you know. My top weight, I was about 460 before I had to lose my weight to get to my first weight loss surgery weight. Um, so... I blamed it all on just the fact that I was big and losing weight was just going to be another, you know, or rather, excuse me, um, having weight loss surgery, another positive out of having weight loss surgery 
what's going to be losing my anxiety, losing my depression. Woohoo! You know? Yeah. No. No, babe. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Don't work like that. Read the fine print. Let me read it for you. Weight loss surgery does nothing but change your body. That's all it does. It might make you happy because you are no longer big. You might feel more satisfied with yourself because you look good in clothes. But that's about all it's going to do as far as your mental state is concerned. Um, my anxiety went apeshit again. And um, I've always had anxiety my whole life. Um, had it, you know, like I said, when I was a kid, had it growing up, had it in my teens, had it in my 20s. I'm 35 going on 36, still got it. I started, um, how do I put it? I started overbooking myself with my time. I started booking activities for myself like doctor appointments, um, my cognitive therapy, my uh, psychological therapy, um, activities to do with friends, social activities, dating. I started overbooking myself to the point where there wasn't one day a week I was in this house. You know, I was only in this house to sleep and to wake up and to shower and to take a dump. Seriously. That was my life. I was like that for a good 15 days and maybe longer, maybe three weeks. And I got exhausted. I can't exhaust myself um, because of my epilepsy. I can't do that to myself. If I exhaust myself, I'm lining myself up to possibly have a seizure. Um, even though I've had two craniotomies to put my epilepsy into remission, I'm still unbelievably cautious to keep my epilepsy at bay. Um, I treat myself and I treat my body as though I still have active epilepsy. Um, even though I can go, you know, hard on myself, I choose to not in a lot of ways. Uh, not in every way. Lord knows I can throw them back. But, um, but I choose to not in some ways. And one of those ways is that I make sure that I get enough sleep. And um, I make sure I don't exhaust myself. So having said that, my brain said, all right, Janine, calm it down. I calmed it down. What it did I went into OCD mode. So now I'm in the house all the time and my OCD kicked in because I don't have any activities anymore to distract myself from my anxiety. Okay? I booked myself with all this shit to do to distract myself from my anxiety and from my depression. That's why I was doing it. Okay? If I was too busy I was too busy to pay attention to my anxiety. If I was too busy, I was too busy to pay attention to any sort of depression. I had too much shit on my mind to think about. Where else was I going to be next? Who else did I have to see? What appointment did I have to go to? What time was it? I was too busy, okay? So I just used the scapegoat of filling in my life. So when I had nothing else to do, meaning I calmed it down and I kept myself at home, I stopped booking dates every single night, I stopped booking activities every single day, my OCD kicked in and I started cleaning like a motherfucker. 
ridiculous amount of cleaning. Unnecessary cleaning. Well, now I'm paying for it because my OCD has skyrocketed. So, instead of dealing with my anxiety, like I was hoping to do, I used the scapegoat of distracting myself with cleaning. My point in telling you all this shit is that <clears throat> no matter how thin you get, no matter how much weight you lose, no matter how hot and ripped your body is when you're done with your weight loss surgery and you hit goal, it's never going to fix your brain. It's never going to fix your mental health. You're always going to have an issue if you had issues before. And it's something you got to work on before weight loss surgery, during weight loss surgery, and after weight loss surgery. I have a therapist, I have a psychiatrist too, and I do take medicine. And, um, you know, I take a lot of medicine actually. And um, I'm actually going to see my psychiatrist, um, you know, my MD psychiatrist. Um, on June 18th, I see him again, and I'm going to talk to him about taking something for my OCD um, or flipping around my medicine or something like that because it's out of hand. Um, I got to do something. Uh, you know, it's, it's really out of hand. Um, it bothers me to a point where it shouldn't bother me and it gives me anxiety. So I gotta fix that. Um, just kinda wanted to talk to you guys about that. Just know, you know, weight loss surgery is beautiful. It's wonderful. It'll save your life and it will make you happy but only in certain areas. It's not going to fix everything. Having said that, I do want to move on. Um, even though I didn't talk about such a fabulous topic. Um, other than that, I'm okay. Um, my back sucks, hurts like a bitch. They found out that I have kidney stones. I have to see a urologist this Friday. We'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully, they can be removed or broken up or, you know, whatever it is. Um, with that ultra, I don't know, the, the thing they stick it in and then they whiz, uh, you know, those waves in you. Maybe they can do that to me. I don't know. Um, I don't know much about kidney stones. I never really looked into it. So, we'll see. Um, I'll figure that out this Friday. Um, what else? Cognitive therapy is going very well. Um, but I'm going to be there for quite some time. But I love my cognitive therapy. It's really good. Very challenging. Very challenging. Sometimes a little too challenging for me. Um, sometimes it's a little too challenging. So, but I'm still pushing myself. Uh, it's raining. My back is killing me. I didn't go to cognitive therapy today because of it. I couldn't handle the one and a half hour drive out there, one and a half hour drive home. So I had to play hooky today. Um, I've just been trying to enjoy life as much as I can. Uh, trying to keep it easy during the week and have fun on weekends. And um, I've been hanging out uh, in the weight loss surgery community. Um, there's a wonderful, beautiful lady named Eva. I'm sure a lot of you guys are friends with her on Facebook. Her son, Nick, um, he and I have become friends. And uh, I've been stealing him on weekends. And he's become my best friend. So I've been hanging out with him quite a bit. And... Uh, 
So we've been doing stuff like going to Coney Island and oh my god, Coney Island. So I want to show you these. So at Coney Island, you guys, you know, a lot of you guys make fun of my accents, right? And you know, you make fun of it in a joking way and that's fine. You know, go ahead and make fun of me. I'm a pisser. So, okay. So we got these, all right? Now just so you know, I bought these at a store in Coney Island. I don't know if there's a way for you to get them online if you want to get them yourself, all right? If you do, you're going to have to do the Googling yourself because I don't know. But I got these at a store on the boardwalk at Coney Island, okay? So, this is Crema, okay? It's just a little Crema pitcher, all right? And you stick Moo in that, right? It says Crema. Here's Sugar. All right. I loved that. I loved the sugar. This is a, you know, butter dish. And it says butter. Fell in love with that one. And I got these two. <clears throat> salt. I don't know how to say salt any other way than that. And here's pepper. So this is my salt and pepper shaker. Love. So I got that little collection. Madly in love with it. So, yeah. I got those at Coney Islands. Um, oh, God. Uh, everything else is good. Um, my beautiful fake niece, Jessie, had her communion. She looked gorgeous. Um... What else? Summer's coming. Can't wait. You know me, I'm a summer baby. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I'm just trying to keep, you know, as positive as I can. Trying to, trying to, I don't know. I'm, I'm very overwhelmed lately. I just have a lot of cans of worms open at once and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Um, I feel very overwhelmed right now. Um, especially with my health. Especially with my health. I feel very overwhelmed. I have seven things with my health right now. I know it's seven because I counted them. Um, I'm working on seven different things regarding my health right now. And uh, it just, you know, it requires specialists and um, it's a lot, you know. I feel like a, I feel like a chef at a big stove with seven different pots on the burners and I'm trying to handle seven different pots, you know. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. And I'm, I'm overwhelmed and it's nothing anybody can help me with. You know, because it's all shit I got to do myself. You know, if I could, please, if I could ask for help, I would. I would. I would ask for help. But it's nothing anybody can help me with. It really isn't. You know, my weight, I'm 143. I'm not going to freak out until I lose another three pounds. As soon as I get into the 130s, I start freaking out. I am going to see my bariatric surgeon in two weeks. Um, I want to talk to him because I'm not eating enough. Um, I'm not eating enough. I'm losing weight again. Um, I did gain a little bit and now I'm losing again. Um, not happy about that. Uh, so I got to talk to him about that. I want to have an EGD done. Um, excuse me, an E. EGD? Yes. Endosophilgram. EDG? Either EDG or EGD. I don't remember the, I don't remember how it goes. But, you know, the barium swallows, um, I need to have one of those done. I need, I need them to look in my throat. I think having the fucking lap band for so long, because my lap band had problems. And uh, I know I have, like, uh, where the band was in my throat, it had slipped. And when it slipped, that stupid lap band slipped wrong. You know, well, not like I could slip right. I mean, come on, Janine. But with the way it slipped, um, 
it like, it kind of like calloused a little in my esophagus. And I think the calluses make it hard for me to swallow. So it holds food above it and I get full so fast. It's, it's not good. I'm not eating enough. And I just, I can't, you know, I can't stay healthy like this. It's not good. I'm still using the vitamin patches. I'm doing good with those. Um, I am going to have my blood work done. Uh, but I haven't been on the vitamin patches long enough for that to, you know, reflect in my blood work. So, whatever. Um, so we'll take a look at that. And, um, I'm done rambling at you. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. I love you. And, you know, don't forget to talk to me on Facebook in between videos. I am going to try to keep up with my videos. I really am. And I'm sorry I haven't done it in so long. It's just... This one was a depressing video, and I knew that if I was going to make a video, it was not going to be happy-go-lucky normal Janine. It was going to be this, and I didn't want to give you this, you know? I really didn't want to, but you know what? This is kind of like a, a PSA, a public service announcement, you know, at the same time. So, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll post it, so yeah. I love you guys. I love you to death. I really do. I love you. And I've been getting so many messages on Facebook like, you know, where are you? Are you okay? How have you been? And I love you so much for it because I know you guys give a shit about me and I do give a shit about you. Um, I really do. I give a shit. And uh, I hope you guys know that too, okay? So, yeah, I'm done. I'm done rambling now. I'm done. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love you. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.